All right, so it has been quite a long time since I've had in a watch from Aviate Watches. They reached out to me a while back and asked if I was interested in taking a look at one of their new releases of the four available colorways. There was a stealth model that kind of jumped out at me, caught my eye, and that's the watch I have in today. The watch is the P51 Mustang Hitchcock Automatic. Full disclosure, this watch was gifted into the channel for free. Thanks to Aviate for that. So let's switch things up and take a look at the watch. Now, Aviate is known for their aviation themed watches, usually making a connection to a particular plane or pilot. And this one does both. The Hitchcock is named after the famous pilot and polo player Tommy Hitchcock Jr. During his polo playing career, he achieved a 10 goal rating in 18 of 19 seasons. I know exactly zero about polo, so I'm not sure what that means, but it is apparently quite a feat. So what does he have to do with the P-51 Mustang? He was actually a key player in the design of the plane and ended up losing his life due to a crash of one during World War II. He has a really interesting story and even at one point made quite a daring escape back in World War I. It's definitely worth a Google if you're interested. The watch itself, like I mentioned before, is an aviation themed watch. And the whole themed watch thing can be a little hit or miss for me, but the combination of the blacks and grays, then the pop of blue, I thought looked really cool. There's three other versions that are nice too, and they actually outperform this one, particularly in the legibility department. They have contrasting markers and hands, where this one is a little bit trickier to read with the hands and markers tending to blend in with the dial. The dial has multiple layers and texture, so there's lots to look at. The top layer, that top right sort of panel section, has vertical brushwork and is actually connected to the chapter ring. It's a sandwich style dial with some of the markers being cut out. The lower part of the dial from just after the 3 to almost the 12 o'clock has a different texture, more of an aged look than the brushwork on the rest of the dial. We've got blue accents on the second hand, the text where it reads automatic and at the 10 o'clock marker 2. It definitely needed that, I think. Probably would have been a little bland without it and it looks really good against the black and gray, I think. The hour and minute hands are skeletonized, so I kind of figured there probably wasn't going to be any loom. There is, but the problem with dark colored loom formulas is they tend to not be overly bright, and that's the case here. It fades very quickly and isn't bright really to begin with. It's readable actually for quite a while, but yeah, this isn't going to impress when it comes to loom, unfortunately. The case is PVD coated and well finished with the brushed lugs and bezel. The sides are polished and have a good curvature both from the lug to lug as well as the top of the case to the case back. The crown is protected by the crown guard which I think looks pretty cool. It's quite a large crown but at the same time is very thin so it helps in pulling it out to adjust your date and time. The case back has a display case back with 10 gold Tommy painted onto the crystal. I think in this case, I would have preferred a solid case back with that pressed or engraved. I think that would have been a little bit better. It's an NH35 working away in there. Nothing wrong with the movement, but it's not the prettiest movement. They do have a custom rotor on display, which kind of helps the situation. But for me, I probably would have went with the solid case back. Size on the watch is 42.5 millimeters in case width, and the lug to lug is 50.7 millimeters. I have to say I was surprised by both of those measurements. I find it looks and wears smaller. Not sure if it's because of the PVD case or what exactly, but that's the numbers. Lug opening is 22 millimeters. Thickness on the watch is 14 millimeters, including the domed sapphire crystal. The sapphire is treated with an anti-reflective coating and the water resist is 50 meters. 
the strap is a good look for the watch decent feel to the leather and it looks kind of cool with the contrasting black keepers it's a padded leather and the stitch work adds some nice detail to the strap on my seven and a quarter inch wrist it wears well the stock strap is very comfortable straight out of the box now I'm filming this a couple of weeks ahead of availability, but these are available for purchase starting the 6th of August. Cost will be 350 USD for this PVD model and 330 for the non-PVDs. I have a discount code time to go that will give you 15% off that price. The code is time to go all one word and that works for any of their full priced models on the site. Link to that site will be below. The channel does earn a small commission for anyone that uses the code on qualifying orders. So if you do, it's very much appreciated. So I think that's it. Any questions on the watch, reach out anytime. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.